One of the most mysterious yet most important things that a man can possess is something called game. And at the core, game is nothing more than a set of specific social skills that once mastered can catapult you into an entirely different league of men. Some of the core aspects of a man's game are the ability to flirt or the ability to keep a conversation going. But there is one aspect of game that is rarely ever talked about. And this is the missing piece to the puzzle that 99% of men don't have and aren't even aware that it exists. And you're about to learn what this piece is, why it's important, and how it can completely change not just your game, but your entire life for the better. Now, for some strange reason, humans have a never-ending urge to become more than human. This is evident by the massive number of superhero movies that are constantly in and out of theaters. And as humans, we all wish that we had some sort of superpower or something that could give us a huge advantage in our own life, something that could completely change our life. And what we don't realize is that we all actually have the potential to unlock what many would consider a real-life superpower inside of our own heads right now. And while this ability won't let you walk through solid concrete walls, the better that you get at mastering it, the more that you won't even need to walk through walls. To start, ask yourself this simple question. When is the last time that you had a bad feeling about something and you weren't totally sure where it was coming from, but you listened to it anyway and it helped you avoid what turned out to be a really awful situation? Maybe it wasn't something as crazy as what you'd see in the movie Final Destination, but you got a feeling, you listened to it, and it saved you from a big headache. This happens to us all the time, and when asked why we went with one choice over the other, most of the time we say that the choice that we went with just felt right. Girls actually do this all the time when they pick guys to go out with, and for pretty much everything else that they do, because females on a biological level feel things much more than men. And this gives them a huge advantage, particularly in dating scenarios, because it allows them to unconsciously, quickly, and accurately read men and even other women at a level of accuracy that is almost like reading the other person's mind. Except that's not what's actually happening at all. The thing that allows them to do this is much more explainable than that. And the more that you are able to master this hidden ability or hidden superpower, the more that your own game will increase. So what happens when you get that gut feeling is basically the power of your subconscious kicking in. And your subconscious is something like 30,000 times more powerful than your conscious brain. So what's actually happening when you get a gut feeling about something is that your subconscious is kicking in and picking up on many small cues or signals that are unperceivable by your conscious brain. Then it crunches all of these signals together pretty much instantly and your gut feeling is the conclusion that your subconscious comes to after crunching all of those various signals. Many of the men in the world who have reached astronomical levels in terms of success when it comes to their career or whatever it is that they enjoy doing perform on a level that most people can only explain as magic. But what is really happening is that they've simply mastered the power of their gut instinct far better than most other men out there. And this has allowed them to play at an almost superhuman level. Our conscious brain processes information from our surroundings 30,000 times slower than our subconscious. And it's difficult for most people to even grasp how much slower this really is. Women are basically born with an advantage in terms of being able to tap into what they call a woman's intuition, which is what us men would call our gut instinct. And what this does is it allows them to quickly read men to know if they are being fake or if they might have ulterior motives, which is a very important survival mechanism since girls are typically smaller and less capable of fighting off physical threats than men are. The thing about men is that we actually use our gut instinct far more often than we realize and it has most likely saved every single one of you watching from at least a few unwanted scenarios throughout your lifetime. The very definition of intuition is the ability to understand something instantly without the need for conscious reasoning. This means that intuition can literally solve problems for you instantaneously without you needing to spend any time consciously trying to solve them. It means that with practice, you could theoretically use your intuition or your gut instinct to read other people's behavior and come to a conclusion that is almost as good as being able to read their mind nearly instantaneously. And if that sounds a lot like a superpower, it's because it kind of is. When asked how they reach such incredible heights, many boxers and well-known fighters said that they achieved the level that they are at only when they stopped consciously thinking about every punch every kick, and every jab. 
Translated, this simply means that these fighters became unstoppable the moment that they allowed their gut instinct to take over. This is the instinct that told them exactly when the opponent's guard was down, allowing them to land a knockout blow. Many of the greatest business decisions and investments of all time were made off of a quote-unquote hunch that the person had. And this hunch was really their gut instinct speaking. And with 30,000 times the processing power of their conscious mind, this far superior processor made the calculations instantaneously and gave them the answer that they needed to make millions or even billions of dollars in some cases. Now, the reason why most people, particularly men, don't have a very good gut instinct is simply because they don't use it enough. In your head right now are little brain files containing every bit of information that you have ever absorbed throughout your entire life. And unlike your conscious mind, your unconscious mind or your gut has full access to all of these files at all times instantaneously. So here's why most people have poor gut instincts and how you can develop yours and complete the missing link that you need to dramatically improve your game. Number one reason why most people have a weak gut instinct is because they simply don't use it enough. Unlike our conscious mind, which analyzes things and gives us answers in words, our gut instinct or subconscious speaks to us only in feelings. Now, it can still give us yes or no answers or tell us when to avoid a person or thing, but it does this by giving us a feeling. Our gut instinct is always speaking to us and always trying to help us, but most of us never take a moment to listen to it because it speaks very, very quietly. One day I was driving on the highway and a car drove next to me and I looked over at the guy and I felt something deep down tell me to get away from him immediately. And I actually listened to this feeling and about 10 seconds later the man crashed into the car that had pulled up where I was just driving. Which means if I hadn't pulled away at the time that I did, that would have been me who the guy crashed into. Now, I've had many situations in life where I just got a bad feeling about somebody or something and later on that person or that thing ended up in what many of you would call a nightmare scenario. And had I not avoided that thing, I would have been caught up in it as well. And in other situations, I've had a good feeling or a feeling where my gut was telling me to talk to one certain girl over another without really explaining to me why. And when I actually listened to it, things ended up turning out really good for me. Now, although we don't realize it, many of the most important decisions in our life are actually made based on a gut feeling or our gut instinct. Oftentimes, people will ask us why we chose one thing over another or this person over that person, and we simply reply with, I don't know, I just had a feeling. So the missing piece of game that most men don't have is your gut instinct and like a muscle, the best way to train this hidden superpower is simply to use it more often. And the most effective way to use your gut instinct is really just to trust yourself. Usually what happens is our gut instinct solves a problem instantaneously and then our conscious mind or that little voice in our head starts trying to convince us to listen to it instead of our gut. And what usually happens is we end up going with that little voice instead of our gut feeling. And as most of you know, this can get us into trouble pretty often. In many cases, when we choose to listen to our conscious mind, things end up turning out not so good for us. In order to dramatically improve your own game, you have to be listening for your gut feeling and whenever it speaks, simply listen to it. Don't let your conscious mind try to talk you out of it because it will always try to do that. Whenever you meet someone, listen to what your gut makes you feel about that person and then check back later to see if your instincts were actually right. But the most powerful thing that you can remember that will help you to tap into this hidden superpower is that your conscious mind speaks to you with words while your unconscious mind or your gut instinct speaks to you with feelings. Whenever you have a feeling about something or about someone, that is your gut talking and the more that you listen to it or use it, the more it will continue to help you out when you need it most. This is the missing piece of game that 99% of men simply don't have and the better that you get at mastering it, the better and more complete your own game as a man will become. And with that said, until next time, as always, thank you guys so much for watching.